Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Now before I get into today's video I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who checked out the previous video about Sonic X Shadow Generations. It has completely blown my mind on how many people have watched it. It's now my most viewed video I've ever made uh, apart from like a few shorts I suppose but yeah Thank you very much uh, for that and I also want to say welcome to the five uh, new subscribers that video has brought in I know um, It's crazy to think that um, <laughs> That many People have watched that video and people have actually subscribed uh, to the channel. So again, thank you now, anyways, moving on from that, let's just get straight into business. So the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 trailer uh, just dropped literally a few days ago and it's going absolutely crazy online. You know, the whole Sonic community is pretty much in, in awe with it. Um, well, most people, there is still some people who are complaining as usual because you can't please everybody. That's just life. But everyone a lot of people mainly have been you know the main talking point of the trailer is professor gerald robotnik being in the end of the trailer it's like he's alive yeah he's alive wow well at least that's what some people think you know people think that he might actually not be real he might be like a vision kind of similar to um what knuckles had in you know his tv series from a few months ago and uh pretty much i don't think that is the the reason why he's there i don't think he's a vision i think he's real they are definitely taking a lot from sonic adventure 2 uh with this film and they obviously wanted to change a few things um with him obviously being alive in the present rather than you know being dead because he obviously is not alive in the events of sonic adventure 2 as everybody knows um and what i'm wanting to discuss is what is his actual intention for the film what is he going to do because obviously in the game he whilst he was on prison island he reprogrammed shadow and reprogrammed the space colony arc um obviously he reprogrammed shadow to you know collect the chaos emeralds and put them into the eclipse cannon to then you know send the colony on a collision course with earth um because he wanted to get revenge on all of humanity for killing maria even though it wasn't all of humanity's fault, it was just the government's fault, the GUN, the United Federation. So, I think they're still going to do that, but he is going to be, well, he's obviously alive. He is, I, I think really, because in the trailer for the film, Shadow says, once we're done, there'll be nothing left. And that obviously states Shadow is not working alone. Someone is working with Shadow. And I believe it is Gerald. I think Gerald is the one who broke Shadow out of prison. And is now working with him to obviously I believe collect the Master Emerald. Because obviously it has the seven chaos emeralds inside and they are wanting to collect it and take it to the colony space colony arc to then put into the eclipse cannon and do the same thing as they did in the game or at least as gerald wanted to do in the game but obviously he was dead so shadow did it working with eggman now Will Eggman work with his grandfather? Probably. He probably will turn with Gerald at some point in the film. But I still 
believe there is going to be a twist with Gerald. I believe that he will he'll reunite obviously in the trailer he reunites with Robotnik or his grandson and they embrace each other they give each other a hug and I think that's when the manipulation from Gerald may begin where he's going to try and bring his grandson into the fold to get him to help him collect the Chaos Emeralds or the Master Emerald from Sonic Tails Knuckles because obviously Sonic recruits Eggman to help them initially but I think Eggman's going to then join his grandfather as a, you know, <laughs> to betray them because obviously, you know, Sonic, Eggman, they don't mix well together even though they have worked with each other in the games reluctantly. Um, I don't think we will see Metal Sonic in this film I think they're going to keep him for like a later film, um, potentially. We might see him, I don't think we will, but you never know. But I think Gerald will then betray his grandson, as well as Sonic and the others, to pretty much, you know, unleash his ultimate goal at the end. I think he there will be a plot twist there where Gerald will turn on his own grandson, Sonic, Tails and Knuckles, and even possibly, you know, Shadow, obviously, because Shadow will, he he is going to turn good at the end of the film, there's no way he's going to just be like the main villain for like the whole thing, I think Gerald will actually be the main villain, and Shadow is just working for him, and then Shadow will, you know, regain his memories, his correct memories, like he does in the game, and then help Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and even Eggman to save the world from Space Colony Art crashing into it. I, I think that is definitely what will happen. Gerald will trick his own grandson to, you know, help him. And then, you know, he won't care anymore because he's insane. Like he is in the games. He draws all the um, the symbols and all the equations in his cell that you see Sonic locked up in on prison island i still think he's insane he will betray his own grandson i mean he technically he kind of did that in the game even though he was already dead so i mean his whole intent was that he didn't even care about his own grandson he would have destroyed him anyways if you know space colony arc succeeded at crashing into earth because he would have killed his own grandson from beyond the grave i think they're gonna still do that in the film only with him alive um which not a lot of people have been talking about and i've just been completely thinking about it it's like hmm shadow's not just working alone someone's clearly broken him out and there is clearly an objective here i think the objective is to steal the master emerald again from knuckles and sonic and tails um or they're just going to trick them into taking the master emerald to you know the eclipse cannon on space colony arc and play oh yeah if you want to defeat shadow this is the only way you can defeat him by you know putting the emeralds into this weapon and we can get rid of him no that's no i think that's there's definitely going to be some sort of betrayal in this film and i think gerald is going to be the one that does it similar to the way how he does in the game that's my theory and yeah let me know what yours is in the comments because you know i think it makes a lot of sense you know shadow is definitely working with somebody else on the inside and gerald is the only person really that i can think of that he's working for because i don't think he's working for eggman this time around um or he could be he could have you know found him you know beyond you know, behind the scenes, I guess. I mean, yeah, he did uncover files about it. At least the, you know, GUN did when they went to the um, salvation site or uh, battle scene, whatever you, you want to call it, the battlegrounds at the end of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And obviously the agent told the commander that, you know, Project Shadow files have been found and whatnot and have been disclosed for 50 years so but yeah that's my theory for this video 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Please let me know what your theories and, you know, if you potentially agree with it in the comments, please let me know down below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Again, thank you for the support so far. It's been amazing. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.